Hello students, welcome to July 15th lesson on congruent triangles. This is unit seven now, and uh, unit seven is about flow charts, proofs, and talking about proving something that's congruent. Um, it's super important. It teaches you a lot, and it also makes you a better thinker, okay? So it is a very important unit, all right? All right, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> First of all, let's talk about some definitions and things that you should know before we move on, okay? Um, these are called triangle congruence conditions, okay? Something that you already learned, um, you knew before, okay? So these are triangles that are congruent and there are conditions to them, like this one here, for example. How do you know that these two are congruent? By the way, congruence is sort of like cloning. Now, if you, someone was to clone you exactly as you are, you're congruent to your clone. Now, obviously not all clone goes accordingly. Some of them might look similar, but they're not. So that's why um, you gotta be careful when you look at triangles, okay? Never look at it as appearance. You always wanna use these conditions to know if something is congruent, all right? Now, if the sides, like this side here is congruent to that side, and that side is this congruent to that side, meaning it's the same length and stuff, and that side is congruent to that side, you know that those two triangles are congruent, they're identical, uh, they are two of the same, obviously, okay? And that's called side, 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 okay? This is also in your book, all right? Now, um, again, this is another one, like angle, side, angle, so that angle is congruent to that angle, that angle, oops, sorry, that side is congruent to that side, that angle is congruent to that angle. Usually, it has to flow one or the other way, like this one flows this way, angle, side, angle, angle side angle so again if the angle side angles of this side this triangle is congruent to that side you know those two triangles are congruent all right it also works for angle angle side now this one here as you can see it starts from this angle and it goes down to this angle and it goes down to that side it doesn't have to flow that way it can flow this way too so angle side i'm sorry angle angle side and therefore they're also congruent okay but it has to flow one way or the other way remember that all right also works for side angle side so for this one your side angle and side side angle and side if that's the case then those two triangles are congruent by saying side angle side now if you see a 90 degree angle then you know that you can actually possibly use this um, condition here okay so as long as the hypotenuse is the same and one of the length is the same if it doesn't matter which one it is then therefore you know those two triangles are the same because with the Pythagorean theorem these two sides also have to be the same so therefore it's the same thing as side 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 but if you, if you if there is a hypotenuse then you'll need to find more and more length so this is the hypotenuse here that's the hypotenuse right there and that and if those two are congruent and then these two are congruent then you know the third side is congruent so this is also works too it's called hypotenuse and length now uh, a couple of things that students get confused with, okay? Um, these three here, um, are, you cannot use these three for congruence conditions, okay? And there's multiple reasons, you can YouTube that, and they can show you, all right? So side, side, angle doesn't work, okay? And angle, side, angle doesn't work. Um, thank goodness that doesn't work, okay? I don't wanna use that anyway. Anyway, also angle, angle, angle doesn't work also. So again, these three do not work, so don't attempt to prove something or say something that's congruent using these three, all right? Now let's go and move on to a part, another part of our definition, okay? Um, quickly, all right? So these three here, um, it's sort of like being a lawyer. You need to have like laws and rules so you can prove something, okay? So these three are um, like it's so, some sort of properties and or definition that you can need later on down the line to prove something or to say, hey, that's the reason why those triangles are congruent because these will help you get there, okay? So let's talk about these three quickly, all right? Reflexive property just means that if they're sharing the same side, then therefore you can say that this triangle versus this triangle here, and they're sharing this side, so therefore for this triangle, DB is the same as DB for that triangle, obviously, okay? So all these are pretty obvious, all right? So again, if you were to split these two triangles up, okay, let's put this one up real fast. And this is DB for that triangle, and this is DB for that triangle, and that length should be the same as that length, obviously, if you were to split that up, okay? So that's what they're trying to say, all right? 
So let's make something even easier, okay? This one here, they're saying that, hey, if angle B is equal to, if angle B is equal or congruent to angle E, then shouldn't it work the other way? Pretty obvious, I know. So shouldn't angle E be also be congruent to angle B? That's called a symmetric property. Again, that's <laughs> it's pretty obvious, I know, okay? But that's what it is, okay? And find the last one, the transitive property. This one might be a little confusing, but let me explain that quickly. Now, there's, let's just say there's three angles or three sides. It doesn't matter, okay? Let's just say we have an actual answer. We go, oh, we know that A is equal to B. And we also know that B is equal to C. Then, then shouldn't A also be equal to, shouldn't those two be equal? Because if A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then shouldn't A is equal to C or, or C equal to A? That's what they're saying with the transitive property, all right? That one's sort of like substitution, kind of. We did that uh, recently, okay, so that's what it means, all right? All right, let's go ahead and do some problems that's on your assignment today. And um, in fact, there's only gonna be one assignment today, so uh, this shouldn't be that long, okay? Now, so all you have to do today is that when you, they will give you a set of uh, triangles and then all you have to do is just tell them if it's uh, congruent or not, okay? By using what we just learned, which is the uh, this one over here. Okay, so we have to use one of these guys um, to say if they're congruent or not, okay? All right, so let's take a look. A, and I'm explaining it for you to do it. You actually have to write these things down, okay? You don't have to prove anything. You don't have to do a flow chart. You just have to say if they're congruent or not, okay? So let's take a look. And, oh, okay, so this angle here is the same as that angle. That's why there's a bar there letting you know that those two angles are the same. If it's 30 degrees, that's 30 degrees and so on. That side right there, that's one bar. It is congruent to that side. These two bars are the same. And let's see here, it flows this way for this guy. It is, let's see here, side, angle, side. And same thing for this one, side, angle, side. So yes, it is. It is congruent by side, angle, side. All right? All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. As you can see that these three sides are the same as these three sides. Oh, my bad, this one rotates this way. Okay, so side, side, side. As you can see, they rotate the same way. I mean, not the same way, but it, doesn't, it still flows side, 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 okay? So yes, by side, side, side. All right, now let's take a look at this one for C. Uh, this one here looks like it's um, and uh, let's see, it'll go angle. So this angle, the same as that angle. So it looks like it's angle, and then it goes to angle side. Okay, so this one, it goes from angle, and then if you go this way, it's angle and side. So this one is angle, angle, side. All right, any question on this one? So by angle, angle, side. One more time, it goes from angle, angle, and then side. So this one, it goes from angle, angle, and then side. All right, all right, let's go ahead and move on to D. So for D, it goes from um, side, I'm sorry, angle, side, and then angle. One more time. Uh, let's see here, it goes from angle, and this one here doesn't look like it's, um, this one here, it says this one is connected to this one, which doesn't make any sense because this one, it flows from angle, angle, and side. This one has this one here, so this one, it goes from angle, then this side to the angle. So this one is none. All right, let's take a look at it quickly one more time. So we get an angle and then all of a sudden hits a side here. We're going from this rotation here. So it goes from angle, side, angle, and then angle. But this one, it goes from, um, look at that, this one goes from this angle and then doesn't have an angle there. So it doesn't flow right. So this one is none, okay? All right, E. This one is the hypotenuse, I see 90 degree angle. So that's the hypotenuse and that's the length the same. So yes, it's by hypotenuse and length. Last one, F, um, let's take a look. This one here flows from that angle to that side to that angle. And so we have angle, side, angle. Let's see the other one, same thing, angle, side, angle. So by angle, side, angle. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our last page. Now, this one's a, these are trickier, okay? So let's take a look quickly, all right? All right, so again, um, this one here, you actually have to try to locate it, okay? So let's take a look. Um, uh, we should know that this angle here, since that angle is the same as that angle, let's go ahead and subtract that one really fast, okay? So 50, oops, 56 
plus 29, 85, 180 minus 85, that's 95 degrees. So therefore this one is, has to be 29 degrees. All right, so nothing is telling me anything. I know it looks the same, looks can be deceiving, okay? But they all, all the angles are the same, and as you know, angle, angle, angle doesn't work, so this is none. Again, angle, angle, angle doesn't work. You can actually shrink this one here, and they will have the same angle. Uh, they won't be congruent because this will be smaller, okay? So that's why it doesn't work. All right, number two. You go, wait, that one's, this one here is smaller than that one. Uh, again, you cannot, it looks can be deceiving. So when you see a triangle that's connected, you always want to deconnect them. So I'm gonna go ahead and neatly do my best to go ahead and draw this one out real fast. So A, D, B, and then same thing for this one. All right, so this one here is D, B, See, again, I just deconnected that triangle right there, okay? Now let's go ahead and put some stuff in. That's 90 degrees, that's 90 degrees, that's perfect. Those two are the same. These two angles are the same, because that's what it tells me right there. And we just learned reflexive, and therefore you should know that DB is the same as DB. So that side right there is the same as that side right there, okay? So it looks like it's angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle, it just flows both ways. So yes, by angle, side, angle. All right, um, this one here, they actually, since it's an actual triangle, they might want you to rewrite like this. So they go, okay, triangle, uh, let's start from B. So B, D, A, triangle B, D, A is congruent to triangle. So we do it this way, and then we do D, so we go B, D, C, B, D, C. All right, let's go do number three. Now number three looks really, really confusing as you can see. You go, wait a minute, what triangle are they talking about? They're actually talking about these two triangles there. One, I'm sorry, one here, and the other one right here. All right, so let me redraw that quickly for you. All right. All right, so that's D, B, A, D, B, A. We get C, B, a. All right, let's go and label some stuff. Again, you always want to deconnect the triangle visually. It's a thousand times easier. Don't try to look at it like this. Not only will it take more time, okay? I know you're thinking you're lazy. It actually makes it a lot more wor a lot worse to uh, look at, okay? So make sure you, uh, you know, separate them, all right? So we know that these two are the same. And we also know that this angle right over here is A for this one here. So that angle right there, um, Hmm, I know that, and that one could be confusing, but that angle right there for that C right there, okay, that's the same as that angle over here, um, this one over here. Oops, my bad. All right, and we also know that AB, okay, that's the same length as this one here. So this length right there is the same as that length right there. All right, that one is really confusing. Okay, but anyway, what we have is angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side. Okay, so this one flows this way, this one flows this way. All right, so triangle uh, D, oops, my bad, D, shoot, D, B, A is congruent to this one here flows this way, so it be C, A, B, angle, C, we're using the same letters. There's still two triangles, two separate triangles, no biggie. All right? All right, any question on that? One more time. So that, that's given. Those two angles are the same. That's given. That For that triangle right there, that angle right there is this one here. And then this angle right there is this one here. Okay? So those two are given. And then this side is the same as those two right there because you're just separating them. All right? Okay, last one. <clears throat> All right, so this one, let's separate those two triangles again. Uh, quickly, I'll write it down here for you, okay? So we have, oops, let me draw a little bit better than that, sorry. Let me do it quickly. And there you go. All right, so we have D, E, that angle, same as that angle. That's obvious, that's called vertical angles, B and A, and that's your C, and that's your C, all right? All right, so we know that these two are the same, six and six. And we know those two angles are the same. That one just gives a four. 
So is this a four here? We do not know, okay? So since we don't know, even though they look like they're the same, since we don't know, all we have is side and one angle. We don't have anything else, all right? So this is none. All right, that ends today's lesson. I know it's a little long. If you have any question, email me or, or Zoom with me anytime from 10 to 11. Um, that's it. There's only one assignment today. This one is worth more than normal. And anyway, um, have a great day.